Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yoanti. Got a brand new sneaker pickup coming in for you guys. This is coming in. This is a collaboration with Sneaker Politics and Reebok. Sneaker Politics, as you know, I have two other collaborations from them. I think they've got, they're really smart and really creative when it comes to collaborating. They did, uh, the sneakers that I have are the Saucony, Courageous, they did the Jackson, which I thought just came out awesome. And then they also did, uh, I, I bought the Reebok Ventilator three lakes pack i love the colors and the materials used and the theme of that shoe so uh they got another another hit as far as i'm concerned uh here it is it's the reebok npc uk cnl that's a lot of letters the colorway is red gold white black gum man i love the way these came out let's let's go ahead and show you Boom. So the inspiration for this shoe is pretty cool. What it's based on is Storyville, which uh, sneaker politics is based in New Orleans and uh, back in the early 1900s, uh, basically New Orleans red light district, which they call Storyville, uh, was, was taking place and the police kind of had to come in and, and kind of regulate it. It wasn't technically illegal. So what they did is they took all those like clubs and bars and things like that, the stuff that was going on in the red light district, and they tried to replicate it on a shoe. So you've got this very nice, rich, Rich burgundy quilted leather stuff that you see on like chairs and sofa in these clubs and they have this you know the almost like a woman's like what would you call that a I don't know busty thing I don't <laughs> whatever you know something a, 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 a whore would wear okay uh, you know they have this the the black kind of uh, lining going up with the red uh, laces and also the black laces You've got your Reebok classic patch on the tongue and uh, obviously they have to put their touch on the back right here with the sneaker politics logo Reebok embossed and back they threw a fantastic gum outsole I just think the burgundy to gum ratio looks really cool and then also sticking with that sultry theme you've got another uh, sneaker politics in there and more just kind of like velvet and lace and you know it's a very sexy and sultry shoe uh, so they're going for that uh, kind of feel and look on this it's gonna be available tomorrow online at sneaker politics I'll put the link in my description I think they just did a killer job what's funny is the last two Reeboks I've gotten from them have both been really nice collaborations so they do a really good job of taking what I think is kind of an average shoe and really making it look like something special and, and, and you guys know me my favorite color is maroon, burgundy. Uh, I love quilted leather like that. So overall, I just think the shoe is killer. Really underrated at, at 110. This could be a really unique shoe to add to your collection. More, you know, almost like a talking piece too. That for me, that's what's fun about sneakers is trying to find stuff that people don't have that's still really dope. And I think this shoe is exactly that. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Those links are in the description. I am out of here. I got a sneaker rotation coming for you guys tomorrow. Take care. Peace.